folks, Aaron here. I have a really cool repair project to show you today. This is a tipple made in 1978 by David Gomez in Hawaii. And first of all, what's a tipple? Well, the original name is Tiple. It comes from Colombia and it's a 12 string instrument. It's kind of a, kind of a half size guitar looking thing. Um, but this is based off of uh, the Martin Guitar Company's design from the 1920s. They took their tenor ukulele body, they made it deeper, they added a special neck, special bridge, and they strung it with 10 steel strings, and they called it the tipple. So uh, it's kind of part 12-string guitar, part ukulele, part mandolin. Uh, it's a cool little hybrid instrument. And um, it was strung with steel strings, like I said, um, with two here, three here, three here, and two here, with some octaves in there. So yeah, it's a cool thing. Um, uh, this one uh, came to me with a kind of interesting story. This was from one of our long-term students and fans uh, that we see at music festivals a lot, and this belonged to his grandmother. I believe she bought this original owner, and it had cracked, and then he got it repaired, and then it cracked again, and he knew I loved the tipple, so he gave it to me with the idea that I would fix it up, play it, or uh, put it in the right hands. So I, ch I had a customer, a different customer, ask me to build him one, and I wasn't interested in building one, but I remembered I had this one to fix up. So I decided to uh, fix it up and then sell it to this gentleman for basically the cost of doing the work, um, just to get it back and playing in the world. It's got a beautiful curly koa back and sides, a very thin, light finish on it. It's very nice. You can feel the ripples in the koa. It's got a spruce top. I thought it was a cedar top, but now I think it's spruce. Uh, Brazilian rosewood on the front there for fretboard headplate bridge and a nice mahogany neck. abalone around the rosette there. It says 1978 in here, T10-76. So I did contact this builder, I haven't heard back from him, but I believe he's still alive and building instruments in Hawaii. So uh, I had to uh, glue up these two cracks again, humidify the instrument, uh, put some patches in here. I had to work on the bridge, do some fret work, add some side dots here so it's easier to play, and then get it strung up in the custom tuning I like. So what I do is, um, the G is an octave, the C is an octave, the E's are unison, and the A's are unison. And you could still add more the original 12 string setup or 10 string setup if you wanted, but this is how I like it with the two lower strings and octaves and the two upper strings in unison. super cool. Um, I believe these tuners are replacement tuners because I can see holes where other tuners were originally were. Um, but they, wor they work well and these are the replacement tuners that are available on the market right now if I wanted to change them out anyway so I decided to leave them. Um, with these kind of old open gear tuners the real trick is that when you tune up sometimes you tune it lower on purpose and then ease up from below and that takes out the slop or the backlash in the gears. So easing up from below is the way to do it in my opinion. Like I said, it's uh, got a really light finish. I left a lot of the kind of old battle scars and stuff. I just wanted it to be functional and beautiful and ready to play music. And uh, I really like how it sounds. It's been fun to play. So there you go. Cheers. Cheers.